Sorry. <laughs> Good morning, good morning, loves. Good morning, my darlings, and welcome back to a brand new vlog. I'm so excited because we are doing seven days of exile. We are doing seven days. Where's that thing? Oh, <laughs> we are doing seven days of exile. Um, super chuffed, super excited about that one because what do you mean? So, I don't know, over the weekend, I did a little uh, not a QA, but I did a little um, what would you guys like to see on the channel? And then you guys were like, seven, seven, seven days with EXO, of course, and then get ready with me's and 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 i think honestly speaking i'm just gonna go according to what my subscribers want to see and i'm gonna do exactly that because if you listen to other people telling you you're doing the same thing you're doing you're being repetitive what 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 it it i feel like it it, it it's kind of disrespectful to my subscribers the people that watch me if i keep dwelling on the fact that other people have a problem with what i do now you get what i'm saying so I asked my subscribers, they told me that they want, want to, what they want to see on the channel and I'm going to do exactly that. I'm not going to dwell on the people that, you know, because I just feel like it's also annoying to the people that are actually supporting you for you to be coming and talking about the people that are not supporting you, you know what I'm saying? So yes, yeah, seven days of EXO, um, today is Sunday, it's day one. If I am able to upload the video today, I will, but if not, I feel like it's going to make sense if it starts on a Monday, you know? So yeah, I'm about to do my hair. Um, I think I'm gonna be with this wig for like five days. So I called it yesterday Um, because I didn't want to be late today for church. So I curled it yesterday and We are gonna put it on together. I did pin curls because I just wanted the curl to last This is a 12 inch bob wig. I wanted that look you guys have been seeing it on social media Especially on TikTok, the girls have been rocking the curled bob thing. So I wanted that but yeah um, I forgot my glue. Let me go fetch my glue because I want to put got I want to put the um, that glue. I don't and then I'm gonna put this one. So I forgot. Let me go fetch it. I got my glue. I used the Majestic Premium Collection Ghost Bond. Um, I love it so much, but I don't use it um, as often because I don't stay with wigs for that long. I mean, like you guys know this. I only wear my wigs for like a day and I take it off, but because. It's five days, seven days with EXO. Um, I don't want to have the maintenance of constantly taking it on and off, on and off, on and off, you know. So, yeah. Um, let's take this out. Yo, this is so strong. Guys, I'm post coming to church today. I am so proud and so happy. He's also been posting Bible verses online. And I'm just like... Look at God. God, guys, God is touching my 90s. God is touching the 94 kids. God is showing up for the 94 kids. God is just doing the absolute most, man, for the kids, you know? So I'm just happy that a lot of people are finding salvation. A lot of people are seeking salvation. And there's nothing more beautiful to witness it. You know what I'm saying? So, yes. I'm gonna speed this process up guys if this hair doesn't come out the way i envisioned it to come out now huge possibility I'm going, to, I'm going to scream because what do you mean like the amount of time i took doing what i had to do i'm going to scream so let's speed this up and work through with this i'll talk to you guys now Guys, I forgot that I'm a freaking wolf. I'm literally putting this thing on my head. Oh, Sana. Like, my hair is everywhere. <laughs> I have to be careful when I remove it. I have to use a lot of, um, what's the thing? I have to use a lot of, um, thank God it comes with the remover. So I'm going to use that so that it doesn't, like, finish up my hair, you know? Me, I look like I'm the man. Tell me where 
have you been? Came out of love and girl, don't act like I'm your man. What a sticky and messy situation. Oh my word, I have to go wash my hands. But I'm done with this install. I mean, but I'm gonna finish the hair when I am done with my makeup because I want this. But again, I want this thing to sit. Okay, time for the face. Um, I want to try using my Lancome foundation today. My Fenty Beauty concealer, my Fenty concealer. I didn't realize that I have so much Fenty and I don't use it. So I'm just like, you know what, today is the day I use it. Oh, sorry, I'm using this LA Girl um, Long Lasting Fine Tip Liquid Liner, Fine Line in the shade Dark Brown. I love this thing so much. It just gives me so much precision on my brows and that is what I'm definitely looking for. I'm trying to do my face in 30 minutes, so let's just hope I can do that. Guys, my eyebrows are growing out of control, let me tell you. I have to shave them every other three days because they are growing out of control. I don't understand the science behind Minoxy that you can use it on your hair, on your head, but it grows everywhere else like even this week i'm planning on shaving my face because i realized that the makeup application is not as smooth as it is because i have hair on my face you know my face is not as smooth but that's not a problem i just need to shave it or i can go to dr nandi and she does it for me i asked him i haven't seen tim in a while also <laughs> i miss her so much but yeah so you guys are gonna watch me do my face because you guys love it. I know that it it doesn't make sense to other people, but trust me, I understand it. With me personally, I am a get rid of me girl. I love watching other people get rid of me. It's it's somewhat so therapeutic. I don't know what it is about it, but it's definitely therapeutic. So watch me do this get rid of me, darling, because I am doing a I'm doing seven days of EXO. I'm not going to do a Sunday reel because it would be too much admin for me, Sana. Well, it's not too much admin, but I'm focusing solely on the vlog, you know. I'm going to do reels um, during the week, but there's no reel today also because I woke up late. I mostly woke up, I wake up at um, 8, but today I woke up at half past 8. So I lost 30 minutes of me getting ready. So yeah. Let's just watch. Guys, Christian girl talk is riling up the girls. Like, people are showing their true colors. Christians are the most judgmental, disgusting people in the whole world. I can't believe this religion. I actually can't believe it. I cannot believe how judgmental Christians are. It is so disgusting. They are, mo and I'm going to say it with my chest, Christians are the most vile people in the entire universe. What the hell? I have never, I have never in my life, I have never in my life, I have never. It's almost as if someone is in grade, someone is in grade one, right? when you are in grade two because when you are in grade two you're gonna talk bad about a grade one you're gonna say to a grade one yeah you are in grade one i mean i'm in grade two i'm better than you you will never come to grade two i'm so good because i'm in grade two yeah when are you in grade one not forgetting that you were once in grade one were you not in grade one you think you just woke up one morning and you and god put you in grade two you didn't go to grade one. Your Christians are so, I'm so disgusted by this behavior. So, so disgusted by this behavior. Sis, Christians, yes, sis, never, ever, 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 Sana, never. But because this journey of mine is not mine, it's God's journey. I mean, I'm just a vessel in this world. I have to press on. Let me tell you, I've had Muslims in my DMs. I've had... 
other Christianity, uh, sorry, other religions in my DMs applauding me for the work that I'm doing. Because guys, this is, this is, I mean, I feel like this is my job. This is my calling. This is what God has put in my heart for me to talk about, for me to, for me to show people that what God can do for you. I'm just basking in whatever is currently happening in my life, good or bad, you know, because yo, bad Christians, I man, mm -mm -mm -mm. why are you people like this? Why are you people like this? Why are you people like this? Yo, Christians are so, mm -mm. you know, somebody came for me on my comment section and they were like, Abba Zalwa never, what, whatever the nonsense that they said, Abba Zalwa never manje, something, something, you can't mix alcohol with, um, you can't mix alcohol with salvation. You can't smoke hubbly and you're busy preaching about salvation. Are you God? First and foremost, which God are you? Did God send you like to uto nge uto nge polpen lebo vugusu uto 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 wa e judge judge Jude, Jezik Jez disciples God's disciples who are you God? Like people think wanna banes kia sasa zuluin. That's the problem. The problem starts when you think salvation is group work. The problem starts when you think when unes uneskele mkia sasa zuluin. Ilikame rolangu lungu latuangu wena Joseph. Moses, Abednego, what? And then you're going to come and constantly be judging people about their decisions, about how they live their life. Guys, I'm telling you, me. once the Holy Spirit is in you, you will convict yourself naturally. Nobody will have to tell you anything about what you're doing wrong. Nobody will have to tell you anything about how you're living your life. The Holy Spirit will convict you. I mean, I'm constantly convicted about my habit. Every single time I smoke heavily, I am convicted. Let me tell you, I'll make, I'll, uh, I'm at a point where, thank God, I don't, because I used to do heavily, like, anything. But thank God, I'm at a point where I don't smoke heavily in the house, you know? I'll smoke heavily when I go out. Now, Kona, that's hardly ever, because I hardly ever go out, you know? So, that day when I was at the Turkish restaurant, I'm like, okay, let me smoke heavily. It's been a minute. Sana, the amount of conviction that went into my heart and I'm just like, you do know you're not supposed to be doing this. But because I want to show the realities of being a Christian and not just any Christian, a born again Christian, you don't just wake up one morning and say, yeah, I'm going to stop this now. The way you're going to backslide, the way you're going to backslide because you are going to miss all of those things. And then obviously prayer should help you to be like, God, please help me overcome. But it's not a one day thing. Rome wasn't built in one day, Sana. Why do you now think that your salvation will be a one day thing you know what i'm saying so you go now it's the same as drug addicts you think a, a drug addict will just wake up one day and be like yeah i'm stopping there's the, the huge possibility yes they will stop but they will go back maybe once or twice until you know something happened and they and they decide okay you know what it's fine it's done and the holy spirit help them do it because when god sees that you want to stop something or god sees that this person wants to worship me wholeheartedly there's no way you're not gonna help your child you know it's the same as a mother when you can see a child that is your child that is suffering and the child is trying to do this thing by themselves there's no way you're not gonna help you know what i'm saying so like my christians that wake up and decide to go on people's pages and judge them there is no way when you are assigned to be judged judy on earth i'm telling you now i'm telling you now the fact that you are judging people that's a sin on its own why are you judging people? Why are you judging people? Only God can judge, Sana. Only God can judge. I'm going to make prime examples because I follow these people. Like, when Black China started her salvation, I was following her. You know what I'm saying? I was watching her. I was doing everything because I was just like, I'm, I'm, I'm so happy for her. You know, people know the side of her that she doesn't want people to know anymore. So now she's she's she started i don't know if she started but she 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 went back to doing her long nails again tell me why people were dragging her for that oh wow the kingdom of god does not allow such nails and then you're just like the people that are pointing Sana. what who are you to tell black china they are demonic you know people telling her that her nails are demonic and i'm just like this is why people don't come out and claim god and claim salvation and and be free when they speak about god because of the same people like these people who are busy with red pens ready to tell people 
how to live their lives it's so 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 annoying and it's so um what's the word it's so discouraging you know i was reading comments it's so discouraging as a christian to go through that so as a christian i would prompt you to be very wary of the things that you say to other christians like you are pointing one finger and three fingers are pointing back at you you know this this thing is a constant battle and a constant journey why not be there for each other why not be there and encourage each other instead of you having this red marker that you want to show the world to winner you are you know and then this lady she she, she had a big mouth and now people were dragging her under my post and then she wants she has the audacity to say to me i'm holding it to you and then she thinks she can bribe me with 70 rand because you can you can she she did that super thanks thing i said take your money please i don't want your stupid money i think you're gonna come here and bribe me with 70 rand moment i mean 70 rand bro. i don't want your money Cond i think she realized what she was wrong and then she wanted to make amends but i'm secular for me like i'm secular you you've been making noise the whole time and then now you just want to come back and think your 70 rand is going to make a difference Please get out man like get out like i don't have the time for that so christianity is just no those people mm -mm. i wonder if muslims are like this i wonder if they they hog the religion you know christianity's hog a religion so much it's so it's so it's too much but in the work of christ guys i realized that you will be constantly judged constantly looked upon weirdly it's just a lot it's just a lot you just have to tell yourself you know what this is the walk that i've decided to take this is the path that i've decided to take with god and nothing and no one is going to alter my walk with christ you know so yeah that's just it you will constantly be judged that's okay it's life it's supposed to happen god was judged now since you are god's disciples and you will be judged so that's just it when you decide to walk with god and be a full-time christian sorry and, and and practice christianity and practice being in the light with god so eh, i don't mind being judged but make sure that you are perfect make sure that god sent you to judge me no i don't mind it because it's gonna happen but make sure that you are perfect make sure that you are blameless and you are sinless if that's a word make sure Gisana. then i will rely on everything that you're saying but i don't want to lie to you it's been an amazing journey with christianity and me finally giving my life to god i know a lot of people don't know how i gave my life to god and they want me to do a video about it i definitely will but just know that <laughs> It was all because of a relationship. Let me tell you. So, I'll do a, a Christian girl talk and we'll talk about it further. Oh, I, I, I can't believe I, I never used to use blush like this. Like, who am I? <laughs> who am I? Guys, I've been using the same concealer. Same shade. Same everything. I haven't changed makeup. Like... In the past three years i'm saying three years because of covid but i've been using the same shades the same brand i haven't used any other brand la girl and l'oreal i'm the person who believes if something is not broken don't fix it if something's not broken don't fix it i've been have i've been using this for the past three years and i love it so much why would i change it you know i i really don't believe in changing anything about my makeup routine just obviously foundations and stuff and introducing new things just the same way i introduced um primer because if you guys do know i never used to use primer on my face i always used to say moisturizer and i'm done but now i use primer because obviously i don't know if it's age but as we grow older sana my face is it's it's been oily but guys it's been how many months now since i've stopped contraceptives tell me why my hormonal acne has stopped like you guys remember the first two three months of me stopping my contraceptives i was crying about hormonal acne so now it has stopped because remember last week when i was fasting I was on my lady days not even a single pimple 
not even a single pimple okay my hormonal acne has stopped i love it here i really do i think i just had to give it time for it to for my body to readjust to it not having any help in terms of oral contraceptives you know so i'm just happy about that because my skin was going through it like it was showing me wahala shakara everything you could possibly think of my skin was showing me on tuesday or thursday i think i am going to do a detailed video of the brushes that i used you guys have been asking me what brushes do i use to do my face you only need five brushes honestly speaking so i'm going to do a video on that because the girls have been asking me but with me in terms of brushes like i said i always get my brushes from everywhere like i feel like i'm not a person to hog brushes if if a brush is finished or a brush is done i'm definitely gonna throw it away like there's no need to hog on it because someone was like the way you wash your brushes they're going to get um damaged real quick and i'm just like sana it's a brush you definitely can buy more brushes you know what i'm saying so i don't care much for that but uh my thing you wanted to separate my concealer wanted to separate but i tried bringing it back so yeah my face is matte i'm gonna need some it's because of my hair of the hair of the facial hair like do you... i don't know if you guys can see but i need to shave my face this is the most pigmented blush in the entire universe this is the la girl just blushing um in the shade just pinched it is so bright but because i'm a blush girl through and through i mix um i mix this pink one and my orange terracotta one because i saw on tiktok this other lady was doing a sunset blush and i said i love that i love that i'm gonna do that so i start with the pink just by i go definite i go inside here a bit in my eye because i want that cute um you know that thing the what is it called again yeah you're not lame so i just go here by my cheeks no just yo sana you see what i'm doing underneath my eye just underneath my eye so i can get that pink cute look and then i go in with my that peachy makeup look thingy and then i go in with my terracotta the orange one i just put it by the corner by the end it's a really pretty look i don't want to lie to you it's so pretty because it's it's like a sunset blush type of situation you don't know what color that blush is really i love it so much also i will wear blush okay i believe in blush <laughs> you will see me coming from a mile away setting spray one i go in with the um, urban dk and then i'm gonna follow up with the um, this one i just feel like this one locks it in this one makes it dewy this one locks it in so yeah close your eyes by the way because you don't want it underneath your thingy all done with that time for some highlighter i've been using this girl i love her so much i got it from shein catkin hmm. my girl you will always always be famous okay i always put highlighter when i'm done because i want it to pop so you can put it before but i put it when i'm done with my face i'm gonna go with my maybelline uh lifter gloss in the shade 007 007 And that is it for my lips. I'm gonna do my under eye. Done. All right, get doll face. Let's see what this hair is giving. So I put on pins, right? Um, what are these pins, guys? If this hair doesn't come out the way I had envisioned it in my head, I'm going to scream. Like, I'm going to open my mouth <laughs> and make a sound let me take out these these bobby pins 
Sick and slow for the slick and slow. Uh huh. Catch up in the round, me nigga. Can't play when I'm coming for the kitty. Got my full gun down. Do it for my niggas in the ghost right there. Yeah. Do it for my niggas in the ghost right now. Okay, all the pins are out. Moment of truth, Sana. I'm gonna take this comb, comb the hair back. Hmm. I don't know. I'm gonna comb it back. For oh, frick, there's a pin, sorry. Is this what I was going for? <laughs> okay. Um. Okay. Okay. Okay, wait, let's 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 do something. Let's let's see what the middle part is giving. <gasps> okay, wait. Do we like it? Do we like the middle part instead? Are we feeling the middle part? No. I think... Yes. Yes. Yeah. This is the first time in the history of all histories that I am agreeing on a right pot okay this is cute i feel like it's a bit too curly though i need to maybe the curls must calm down a bit let me see if i put this behind my ear this is cute this is cute but it's a bit curly hey it's a bit too curly but it's still cute <gasps> Okay, what happens if you come on this side? <laughs> because I really want it on the right. Mm -mm. Is it nicer on the right or on the left? I feel like it's nicer this side. For the first time, I am agreeing that it's nicer this side. Oh, this hair is so pretty. Like, I can even get away with the middle part. Do you understand? Do you understand? I can get away with the middle But I look like Oprah Winfrey. <laughs> so, I think I'm gonna... I'm gonna just put it down a bit with my... It's a, it's a bit too high. So, I'm just gonna put it down a bit with my... What's I love got to do? Get to do <laughs> what's a love and a second hand emotion? What's a love got to do? Got to do with it. Who beats up? <laughs> this is nice. I really like it. I really like it. I'm just gonna make this flat a bit so that it can fall nicely on the side, but it's giving, it's definitely giving. Exactly, 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 doll face, exactly, my doll. This is exactly what I was aiming for. Okay, okay, just leave it, leave it, it's fine. Should I do baby hairs? No, 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 no. Come on this side. I look like a doll. I look 
look like a freaking mannequin. Are you kidding me? Are you like kidding me right now? Are you kidding me? Mm-mm, for my baby hair now. Do you get me? Do you get the vision? Exactly. 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 I can even get away with this side. Mm-mm. It's better this side. It's definitely better this side. It's definitely better this like, Record me. <laughs> Hold on, getting ready. Uh, I'm wearing this dress that I got from. Yo, this tights is going now. Uh, okay. I'm wearing this dress that I got from HM. It is making me look so tiny. Like, so tiny. I'm wearing this dress that I got from HM. I'm wearing these shoes that I got from Shein. Michael um, Kors bag. Super pretty, very girly, very lady like <laughs> yeah, I look like Mrs. Incredible. <laughs> and then I'm wearing this crystal saffron perfume. So that is it. Let's go to church. I'm gonna carry a black scarf so that when I'm sitting down I can cover my knees. You know. But yeah, this is the This is the look. Oh sorry, anyways. I'm wearing these your earrings that somebody got them from I'm wearing these dual earrings and no more ring LV necklace I don't have to wear this but because it was on my neck so yeah so this is the fit I see you guys when we get to church we want to give you the word of God from the word of God to remind you who you were under God who you are supposed to be under God who you should be under God just in case you're forgotten so there's so many things I can say today that doesn't mean anything, but the word of God means everything to your life. Because you're going to need his presence on Monday morning on 8-1. You're going to need his presence and his word when you feel like you're losing everything. So Ezra stood and read the word of God to the people. And he tells them, like he's telling us this morning, that God's promises never expire just in case you've been wondering that how come your promises are tiring how comes when coming to pass i want to let you know that god's promises never expire god's promises still stand regardless of what is happening in your life live long enough you're gonna face some attacks in your life he said i'll protect you i like that he says, I'll be your strength because he knows that at some point you're going to grow weary. You're going to feel unappreciated, overlooked, sidelined. And God says, I will be your strength in those moments. Amen. He says, I'll answer you because God knows that you're going to knock. You're going to ask questions. You're going to question certain things. And he said, I will answer you. Amen. Because he says, hey, I will always love you. And that is not a Whitney Houston song. That's our God saying that He's always going to love us. So God is all over His Word. God is all over His Word. So, but I know, 2 verse 3, you are going to make it trust me. Amen. Matthew 28, verse 20. Remember that I'm always with you until the end of time. Amen. Romans 8, verse 18. The pain you've been feeling can't compare to the joy that is coming. Amen. Amen. Isaiah 41, Amen. verse 8. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. Amen. I will uphold you with my righteous Amen. right hand. Amen. Amen. Philippians 4, verse 6 to 7. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer, Amen. petition, with some thanksgiving, present your request to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Amen. 
Psalm 34, verse 4 to 5 and up to 8. I sought the Lord and he answered, and me he delivered from me from all my fears. Those who took who look to him are radiant, and their faces shall never be ashamed. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man or woman that takes refuge in him. Amen. <laughs> Guys, church just yeah, finished. We at Colin Aki. I'm with the love of my life. My love. Who gave his life From to church, Christ today. I gave my life. Oh, Sana. My makeup was almost finished because I couldn't stop crying. Today we couldn't stop crying we couldn't together. Stop crying. No, no, no. I, I couldn't. The I was way just, we were just bawling today. I was in it. I Guys, was... immediately we got to church. Me and Paul just started crying. Today was just a very powerful service. But we had Kolonaki now. We're going to have lunch. And then... Are you getting a nap? I do. Do you want me to take you now? Oh, okay. Chocolate ganache or whatever, vanilla ice cream and candied orange. So, Mpo, come. I'm not gonna have this alone, too. I don't have a sweet tooth. I know you don't have a sweet tooth, but I also don't have a sweet tooth. You know? Okay, let's try this. Yeah, this orange on top, chocolate. Yeah, it looks so sweet. Just like ice cream. Oh, okay. Mmm. Mm. It's good. You guys know I'm not a. Maybe because, because I'm still on my lady days, but. You what? I'm in still a tempo. What are you doing? There isn't days. I'll die. So maybe menstruate every day. What are you doing? Hey, I'm menstruate every day. So no, my family, no menstruate every time. My kids are not going to high. If you get high, I tell you, maybe when now, we're going to get into another one before. But we're still going to walk up and we're 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 going to walk up and
Somebody said I need to do this close for you guys and I need to. I need to. Wash, sorry. <laughs> I'm back home. Today church was nothing short of amazing. Nothing short of God's glory. Nothing short of grace and everything in between. You know, there's so many things that um, we might, not that we might take for granted, but there's so many things that happen in life. There's so many things that happen in our path. There's so many things that happen in our journey to Christ that sometimes we might lose track. Sometimes we might lose actually the way, you know, but God's promises bring us back to who we are. God's promises bring us back to reality and they remind us that it is a promise for a reason. I don't know, guys, but I don't take promises very lightly now. So today we're talking about God's promise at church. And his promises are, are they forever? You know what I'm saying? They're talking about Elisha and how he asked for double, I think double um, um, something, something. And then when he died, he had only fulfilled 27 of the things that he had to do. And then when they were throw when that man who was thrown in his um in his uh tomb or in his grave, that man rose up and that was him fulfilling his twenty eighth something miracle. Today church was a lot. Today church was too much. I entered church, me and Paul entered church today. From the minute we got into church until we left church, we were just bowling. I think more than anything, I was bawling because I was so amazed and so happy that Mpo is in church. And it's not like Mpo has never went to church, but the fact that my friend, I'm fellowshipping with my friend. And then on top of that, he gives his life to Christ. That That is, that is crazy. That is crazy. I have friends that are literally running to God. I have friends that are that are giving their lives to Christ. My friends are I'm just I'm just the most happiest human being. You know what I'm saying? And more than anything, I think my prayer when I was on my way to church I was just like, Lord, reveal yourself. Let 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 your word touch my friend and let him not leave him the same, you know? And the Lord touched him. And my friend gave his life to Christ. I was bawling. I had to go and fix my freaking makeup when we left church because I was finished. You know? It's almost as if I knew that I'm going to be crying the whole time because I, why did I carry foundation? I don't carry foundation. I carried foundation and powder because I knew, you know? But God is good. God is great. When you have the time, just, just give him two, two seconds of your life. Two seconds <laughs> you know and you'll see what he'll do for you but uh, from me i hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog and um i'll see you tomorrow seven days of exo baby girl i'll see you tomorrow and thank you guys so much for watching i love you darling so much bye my cuties